Hi. I have a public service announcement for today. Something really quick, but so important for you to retain. People like these don't have to exist. All of this could have been prevented if you kids wear a condom. Please, make Twitter not cringy again. Use protection. <laughs> but in all seriousness, I do not understand how out of all of a sudden, a game that has been proclaimed as many times the best game ever made, not alone just Rockstar Games in terms of their productions, and we're talking about GTA 5 in the midst. No, we're talking about one of the best, most acclaimed games in the industry, honestly, is being questioned. Now, I'm completely fine with people that didn't like the experience, but um, we have to draw the line somewhere fucking else, because this ain't it. Now, as many other things on Twitter, this shit pop off from nowhere. Mark Posting simply said, Red Dead Redemption 2 is so fucking boring, man. Now, I don't understand people who took this seriously, considering that this man's profile is exactly what you would expect from a guy who says shit like this. Right? Text someone who's always waking up sexually horny. You know, opposed to the other kind. You know, it fits on the criteria of your typical gooner who knows internet and nothing else. What is... I... what... But you know, the problem on Twitter is not one specific person saying something stupid that most likely is a troll, it's the other people that actually take that shit seriously and multiply, like the locus of fucking stupidity. Let me just read this whole thing and then we'll dissect slowly this piece of dog turd. Uh, Red Dead Redemption 2 is so much worse than Red Dead Redemption. And no one acknowledges it, almost as if... It's not true, but okay. The story sucks, it's bloated, too long, you spend half the game dying of cowboy AIDS, the movement sucks, the shooting is garbage, the only thing good about it is the scenery. Um... Okay. You're talking about AIDS? I, just, I think I just caught it. So this magnificent man starts off very well. We're talking about the story sucking. You mean the story that made people cry across the fucking globe over some pixels. Something that doesn't even exist. You're talking about the game that is, even though it's an open world game and that's their focus, can compete with narrative games like The Last of Us. You're talking about that game having a shitty story with one of the most well-developed narrative characters of all time. You're talking about that one. That that That's the one that sucks to you. <laughs> It's bloated too long are the perfect red flags that this guy plays Fortnite and nothing else. Maybe with some luck, Call of Duty Mobile. Not even the good Call of Duty, just the mobile version. You spend half the game dying of cowboy AIDS because we all know that back in the 1890s, healthcare was impeccable. The epitome of the American system, right there, right? Yeah, no shit that your character catches tuberculosis where the chance of that happening was more frequent than baths, okay? The movement sucks, and here I have to agree, I was expecting to be able to surf across rooftops to reach my waypoint. It kinda sucks. One out of ten, would not recommend. The shooting is garbage, which is the most ironic statement that you can say about any Rockstar games because it is the one Rockstar games where shooting actually feels impactful. Bullets actually hit people like a fucking cannon, because you technically have two in your hand. But yeah, let's pretend that the shooting is shit now. Bro said the movement sucks like it's a Call of Duty game. No, what is but buts. It's a game and you should be able to move around easily. I'm not saying you should wall run. <sighs> it's a realistic game. The characters move around as such in every aspect. What are you on about? <laughs> Yeah, I don't, I don't have to add anything to this. This is the best one of all this mess. Uh, I'm a Philistine who doesn't appreciate good storytelling. If you think this is a good storytelling, then you are incapable, then with a E, or incapable or recognizing off, I guess, let alone appreciating good storytelling. This is why I have to pump the brakes. This is the craziest one we're gonna get so far in this whole thread. I mentioned this. I don't know how you can oppose to so many actual professional critics, let alone the whole gaming community that has been pretty much in a consistent matter considered Red Dead Redemption 2 to be one of the best narrative games out there, if not the best to a lot of people. That's the only subjective thing you can do. Place it number one, maybe two or three. But <laughs> to, to think this is not the best narrative game out there is fucking insane. The shooting is the same, if not better, and the story has many more moving parts and plot twists. Also, the whole disease thing is so immersive and serves its purpose, without spoiling too much. The shooting is basically the same, but the shooting was mediocre in Red Dead 1. Then you can't say it's fucking better, which came out 10 years prior. It's not the same, <laughs> even in the slightest. Even if you do consider the ragdoll to be part of the shooting mechanics, that already changes a lot. 
This is not a situation of being fine with liking something. It's objectively good. It's well structured. There's things that drive a narrative. For example, The Last of Us 2 kind of broke down in terms of the reviews because the rise in tension was all over the place. That shit was like a roller coaster. Red Dead Redemption 2 knew how to build this tension. For you to be blind to this and say like, oh, this is opinion matter. Like, no, it's not. Brilliant minds were behind this and had to structure this shit in a way that for the vast majority of people could retain their attention while still being immersive. That is something that of a balance that is hard to come by in video games. For you to start trashing Red Dead Redemption 2 as if it's not the best game that can pull the balance in that is insane and you gotta be ignorant to say shit like this. But yeah, as people have brain cells they started calling this shit out quite possibly the worst gaming take I've ever read. Because this man was not out here saying you know what I don't like the story, I don't like the movement. No, this guy says oh the story sucks, the movement sucks, as if it's an objective take and it isn't. The movement is the one that I can lean a little bit on that because sure the movement is not the best in terms of Rockstar games, <laughs> they've always been shit. Even GTA V, one of the most well-played games in the world, still has a movement problem, but Jesus Christ. And a lot of others just follow suit. And people, if you see this on Twitter, which Twitter has this tendency of blowing up crazy shit, stupid shit, just because it's inflammatory. Understand that this is not gonna be the vast majority's opinion, no matter how loud these motherfuckers are. The only thing that is different here is not that the majority is saying this, is that the minority is very loud. And these, a lot of times, are gonna be made for the troll. I mean, even this guy, maybe I can question is a troll because liking the part where he kicks off the Jew of the camp, eh, that, that's some Kanye West shit right there. <laughs> but to say subjective shit as if it's objectively true, that's where I draw the line. And my guy, you need to drink bleach or some shit. Uh. <laughs>